John 12, verse 35. Jesus replied, My light will shine out for you just a little while longer. Walk in it while you still can, so you will not stumble when the darkness falls. If you walk in the darkness, you cannot see where you are going. Believe in the light while there is still time. Then you will be children of the light. After saying these things, Jesus went away and was hidden from them, i.e. The, the disciples. So Jesus is using a metaphor here. He's, he's saying that um, he is the light of the world, the goodness of the world. And, and he's, the, he's the light that will shine out for us and we can become children of the light. Um, saying that we can, we can be with him, we can have the Holy Spirit dwell in us so that we will have uh, a greater desire to, to love him and, and to serve him. And also that is also, I think he's also talking about the end of the world here when more and more, more darkness will arise. Um, you can read revelations if you want to find out more about the prophecies that are going to happen in the end times. And some of them have already happened, which prove the end times, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to get into that. But anyways, Jesus uh, is talking about how he will, he will take his children with him, his children of the, of the light, right? And through his finished work on the cross, we are saved. We are saved from our sin and from, from hell by his death and resurrection on the cross. We're not saved by works. However, we still have to prove our faith. We still have to prove our faith. And by proving our faith, that means that we, we evangelize, we spread God's word and we, and we tell people that we love them and that God loves them. Because if you just go up to someone or you go up to a homeless person and they ask for help, they ask for clothes because they're cold and they're hungry. If you just tell them, God bless you and good luck, that doesn't really do much for them. That's, that's completely and utterly pointless. And it's not really encouraging them either. You're not proving your faith at all. You're just, you're just saying that, you're just saying something to them and then not really helping them when you could be helping them. So how can you have faith in something yet not prove it? yet not do anything about it yet not like tell people that, that that they're not doomed that's what we should be doing we should be we should be telling them that that there is good news for them that there is good news but also bad news if they if they continue to live in their sin and if they don't ever repent but jesus is the way the truth and the life and no one can come to the father except through him i hope I made this video for those who are confused about their faith, who are confused about what they should be doing for God. And you should be reading the word. You should be getting into it daily. You should be um, trying to spread the gospel. What, even if that means that people will hate you, you should be telling them that they, that they have hope, that they have hope in Jesus rather than just condemning them that's god's job or no it's not i mean it's god's job to convict them we are not to convict people of what they have done or the things that that they are currently doing that's that's god's job to convict them and to encourage them to move away from that but through jesus's blood that he shed for us we, we are then enlightened and we are then encouraged we are then born again through him we are a, a new creature that that lives in the world but isn't of the world spread the gospel whenever you can even if that means that people will hate you even if that means that that they'll despise you for it because jesus because jesus was hated first and instead of um complaining to god that they're gonna hate us and and worrying so much and having anxiety for people we should instead rejoice just like the the apostles did when they were when they were uh, condemned and when they were put in jail or when they were put down in general by, by uh, righteous people and, and those who just didn't want to hear his message. 
and by righteous people, I, I don't mean to confuse people. I mean the Pharisees, the ones that um, that loved their tradition so much that they didn't see God's miracles, that they didn't that they didn't accept Jesus. That's why they killed him, for that reason. But I hope this encourages people to go out and make videos just like this and to spread God's word and to, and to love others the way that he does. Thanks for watching, guys. More videos like this will be coming, hopefully, if I have the motivation to. But uh, God just God wanted me to make this video. So, um, yeah, I love you guys, and uh, God loves you even more.